the situation is improving, but of course it's not perfect. And obviously, I would say that as pandemic taught us a new normal, and I think semiconductor shortage is also teaching us new normal. One example I can say, we used to work for, you know, like a quarterly business plan uh, for production. And now we work on almost daily uh, production plan. Uh, so I think it will continue. And we have to, we have to just uh, maximize our efficiency in this new normal. You just said working on a daily production plan. That is incredibly disruptive for the medium term planning, isn't it, Ashwani? Yeah, but that's, the, that's another competency to find certainty in the uncertainty, which we never did that before. So, uh, you know, we, we, we had this JIT, we, could, we used to call it just in time. Having JIT and have the flexibility in the production aligned with the sales is something which is new normal for us. Um, I've just seen some other quotes from you, actually, and I, I'm just going to quiz you on this. You've said um, you will not develop uh, ICE engines, internal combustion engines, for Europe after Euro 7 uh, emission standards come in. We're under Euro 6 at the moment, of course. That's 2025, I believe, if, if I'm correct as well. Um, that is very interesting as well. Is the profitability of the non-ICE engines, the EVs, now at the same kind of level as ICE or better or worse? I'm just interested in the, the new wave vehicles. How profitable are they compared to the older ones? That's a great, that's a great question. So we have two, uh, um, uh, two ways of looking at it. At first, how much competitive the ICE cars will be after the Euro 7 comes in with all the technology which we will have to put uh, to meet the CO2 regulation? Um, and definitely whether a customer will be willing to pay that kind of cost for the technology. So that's whether ICE cars will be competitive or not. On the other side, whether the battery cars will be competitive or not, it all depends on how we can work on a platform, powertrain, and the battery. And this is what we announced in Ambition 2030, that we are investing for the latest technologies of three and also the localization in our, in our Cinderland plant in UK. So at the end, if the total cost of ownership of battery electric car at Euro 7 is less than the total cost of ownership for the ICE car, definitely customer will go for battery uh, uh, cars. So that's why we decided not to develop ICE engines starting Euro 7 for Europe. But Ashwani, just picking up on that, I'm just having a look at the uh, UK price if I want to buy the all new electric 2022 Leaf. And basically, we're still talking about a £27,000 car, which is uh, very expensive uh, by comparison with an ICE engine vehicle of the same size and capacity. Yeah, I mean, we are talking about 2022. I mean, we, we exactly are not estimating what Euro 7 will cost us on the ICE car. So on one side, the battery co car cost goes down. On the other side, the ice, uh, ice cost goes up. And what we said, we will not develop the new engine starting from Euro 7. Of course, the one which is already in the market will continue. But as far as the new development is concerned, we will not do it. And we will focus more on battery electric and the e-power.